Keep going. If you're gonna be in front, you gotta walk fast. What's going on? Here she goes. One step, two step, three step, four. Oh my goodness, she stands up in the pool. Hey guys, before we get into this vlog, I just wanted to assure you that my family and I did take all of the necessary safety precautions when going on this trip. We wanted to make sure that we keep each other safe and healthy as well as all the people around us. So of course, when traveling, we wore masks, we sanitized, we stayed away from other people, social distance, and also we did quarantine before all getting together and only brought those of us together who had been tested, who were quarantined, and who were comfortable coming together. For example, my grandmother did not come on this trip for a reason. So just wanted to put all of that out there. Also remind you guys to please wear your mask, social distance, and please only do things in small groups of people who have been quarantining or who have tested negative. Hey guys, I'm somewhere. Can you guess what kind of climate I am in? Look at the decor. Look at the color scheme. I'll give you another hint over here. Take a guess. Where could I be? Here's another hint over here. I'm in Florida. We're doing a little mini family vacation after all. I look crusty, I just woke up. We arrived. Last night, slept in a little bit this morning, just woke up, I'm about to go upstairs and eat some breakfast, but I wanted to, you know, start off this vlog. We had this like big giant family vacation planned to Florida. I rented this huge house. I'm about to give you guys a house tour. This house is huge, it literally sleeps 16 people and there's literally an elevator. So that tells you what kind of house it is and we were just planning like this big family vacation. Oh my God, gonna be so fun. Zaya's first time to the beach, but you know, certain things happened in the world and certain things, you know, just messed up our plans. And a lot of people either did not feel comfortable coming, understandably could not come, just, mm. So we went from, I think, having 14 people coming on this big trip to now it's only five of us, Zaya, and a new baby Bella. So, you know, we're just, we're just chilling. Are you excited, Zaya? First time to the beach. You're about to go see the beach for the very first time. On this trip, we have me and Zaya, of course, my mom and my dad, and we have Ashley here and Bella, the newest addition, and then PJ. There's my dad. He was locking up the house. And this is the back view of the house with all these porches and balconies. I feel like this vlog is gonna kind of be all over the place because I'm not being a great vlogger. I'm trying to, you know, relax enjoy have an actual vacation and not be so focused on vlogging but of course still vlog for you guys so sorry if the footage is kind of spotty but this is our first time walking over to the beach since we've been here my legs hurt already already we took 10 <laughs> steps yeah i got an extra package though I'm look both ways walking. before you cross the street start walking they're gonna stop for you go ahead oh they stop and it's a little pathway over here. Keep going, if you're gonna be in front, you gotta walk fast. What's going on? We've been outside for two seconds and people are already saying, my legs hurt, it's lizards, it's stairs. Not the most outdoorsy family. Well, PJ is extremely outdoorsy. I like to think I'm pretty outdoorsy. I'm trying to teach Zaya to be outdoorsy, but my mom, no. 
and look, here we are. So our house is just across the street from the beach, not beachfront, but you know, it's double the price for beachfront. So we get what we could get. Look, Zaya, you've never stepped on sand like this before. What do you think? Uh, thumbs up. Look out there, you see the whole ocean? Is that crazy? Y'all know Zaya is very hard to impress. <laughs> Everybody got their umbrellas. It's been a long time since I've been to a beach too, honestly, since, no, not that long actually. I went to Jamaica kind of recently. You want to take your shoes off? Is it hard to walk with those on? You can take them off and hold them. The sand feels nice on your toes. What do you think? You like it? Wow, first time at the beach. I tried to get a reaction out of her, but y'all know. She's excited on the inside. Ashley lagging behind with the baby. Is this gonna be our spot? Is this a good spot, Zaya? Do you like the sand? I think I love the sand. She loves the sand? What do you think? Is yeah, this what you thought the beach would be like? Let's take us out of spot. Woo! Look! You gotta dip your toes in. Wanna get wet a little bit? Here, hold my hand. I won't let go of you. We're just gonna go just right here. That's all we're gonna go. We're not gonna make it go all the way in the ocean. What? I don't want to go in the water. I just wanted you to feel what it feels like. Look at those sandcastles. Not go in the water. Well, you know you need water to build a sandcastle. You can't make it with dry sand. You need wet sand. So you're gonna have to go in the water and fill up your little bucket with some water. Don't y'all be saying nothing in the comments about my brother, that's nasty. back now Zaya Grammy Ashley and Bella went back before us because Zaya was getting grumpy I'm really trying to encourage her to you know try new things be excited be brave be adventurous don't be prissy don't be uppity but she was like oh the sand oh the water oh this oh that I want to go back inside and I'm like come on now baby steps maybe it was overwhelming it was her first time to the beach today so she played she built sand castles for a little bit they started getting grumpy so Grammy took her back to the house me my dad and my brother stayed out here a little longer and actually like swam in the ocean I saw some fish saw some jellyfish thought we saw a stingray but we didn't and now we're heading back and it's about lunchtime so hopefully Grammy will have something together for lunch maybe Zaya needs to take a nap so she can calm down and then Maybe we'll go to the, just go in the pool at the house for a little bit. You came and put your jammies on already? Jammies? I said, what about the sand building, sand castle building contest? We have it already. That was not the sand castle contest. That was just a practice run. You barely made one castle. You know we're gonna be here for a couple more days and we wanna go to the beach every day. You're tired of it? Mm -hmm. You barely went. That was enough beach for the whole trip or just for today? That was it. Huh? That was it. Huh? That was it. That was it, but are you just tired of the beach for today or for the whole trip? Will you go back to the beach tomorrow? No. no? Yes, you will. We're all gonna go back. No, I don't. And what about the pool? We haven't even tried the pool yet. How about that? No. Well, what are you gonna do on this beach vacation? Just go in the pool a little bit tomorrow and relax. Go in the pool a little bit tomorrow? I'm going tonight. How about later today? Mm. No? Probably tonight. Tonight? Mm -hmm. We'll go in the pool tonight and then we'll go to the beach again tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Okay. Like Grammy said. Like Grammy said? So you only want to do what Grammy does? Mm -hmm. 
Is that the thing? If you can't keep up with grandma, I don't know who you can keep up with. Cause grandma ain't doing too much. Well, what kind of things did you think we were gonna do on this beach trip? Yeah, so we gotta do all those things, right? And we're gonna have a good attitude about it and be happy about it. Okay, Grammy is cooking up some chicken wings. What's it like to be a big girl? Cousin Zaya. I'm going to be big like you in four years. Because she's not even one. And you're Do you know just four years ago you used to look just like that? So we had lunch. I came out here to lay out. I invited the crew to join me by the pool. Zaya said she wanted to leave her footy pajamas on. She came back from the beach, put pajamas on. And I'm like, it's hot outside. You're gonna want to put shorts and a t-shirt on. She's like, no, I want to wear this. This child is 90 degrees sunny. And this is what she want to play by the pool. Okay, Grammy got Zaya to put a swimsuit on so she don't look so ridiculous and have a freaking heat stroke. That's much better, huh? Are you more comfortable? Meanwhile. Not even out. Don't show my shape. It's a flattering angle. Let's show the vlog. What you just did. I missed it with the camera. They're gonna wanna see that. That was amazing. There we go. Okay, come get it from me. The starfish, the starfish is swimming. Come save me, Zaya. Here she goes, one step, two step, three step, four. Oh my goodness, she stands up in the pool. No floaty, wow. Only this side though. Yeah, I think the other end is deeper. But you can stand up on this end. I gotta catch this starfish. You do it again? Save me, save me. Wow, so brave getting in the pool. Woo! You went far out that time. Can you swim back? Swim, 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 swim. <laughs> Great job, Zaya. This is big progress, by the way, you guys, because earlier she was not even wanting to put her feet in. Got you, little guy. Swim back to shore. Keep swim back. Leg. Keep those legs. Great job. One, two, three. <gasps> oh my goodness. Good morning, so it is day two. Well, technically day three, but second full day here in Destin, Florida at the beach house. Yesterday when we were outside playing in the pool and I was tanning, I had my camera out there and then somehow I forgot my camera sitting out there next to the pool and then it did rain last night. <laughs> And then I was looking for my camera and I was like, I know I brought it in. Where did I put it? So I searched this whole big old house, couldn't find it. Then it hit me. I think you left it outside when you were tanning earlier and it did rain. It was actually still raining when I ran out there. And yes, indeed, this camera was sitting out there getting rained on and it was all wet all up in the crevices. So I brought it in here and I blow dried it and I let it kind of, I opened up all the compartments and let it sit overnight. And it still works. So, word to the wise. Always keep track of your vlogging camera when you're on vacation. But anyways, it is morning number two and we're about to get ready to head back over to the beach. But I think 
real quick for the end of this vlog, I wanna give you a house tour because I never showed y'all the full tour of the house. Okay, so here we are in Destin, Florida. This is the surrounding neighborhood, lots of palm trees and nice bright sunny weather. And this is our vacation home. But no, I do not own this home yet. I mean, I am looking into owning a vacation home or at least some vacation rental property that we can use part of the year. But no, it is not this home. This is just uh, basically an Airbnb <laughs> that we have for the time being. But a girl can dream, right? So this is a three-story water view not waterfront, beachfront, beach view, not beachfront, home. And it's a very nice, like my favorite color, mint green type of color. Love that for me. And so we walk up to the front door. Hello. Hi, MTV. Welcome to my vacation crib. Wait, it just locked me out. What? Bruh, this door automatically locks? Okay, please hold. So anyways, you walk through the front door and you're on the lower level, which is actually not the main floor, but this beach home has so many little decor elements. Like literally, I want y'all to try to count the number of signs and little decorations, beach decorations everywhere. Like literally, they had to have cleared out multiple home goods to decorate this place. But there's a staircase right here um, because there's actually three levels, like I said. But on this level, you have a nice little entry here. Like I said, heavy on the beach decor. Every little detail is beachy, which I appreciate. Mr. Lobster, seashells. So on this level, we have the washer and dryer. Very nice, love the backsplash. We have a like bedroom slash living room that actually has not been used because we ended up with far less people on this trip than we thought. So we just have extra rooms, but this has like a couch area, sitting area. Actually, two TVs in here, lots of furniture, lots of space, and this goes out to the pool. And then there's the other TV, and then really cute bunk beds, like nice built-in bunk beds. And these are like big size bunk beds. I don't know what size mattress this is. What's the one that's smaller than a queen? Full, maybe? So yeah, two full bunk beds right here and then you have the bathroom which is closest to the pool so this is kind of like the pool bathroom but this is the one that I've been using so please do not mind my mess we've already been here for two days but really cute beach theme everywhere and a really nice big shower in here and just a nice spacious bathroom I love all the like textures and tiles and stuff. I'm like getting inspo for my future vacation home maybe. And then the door that leads out to the pool. And then on this side you have the bedroom that Zaya and I have been sleeping in. So you've got, I think this is a queen size bed that I've been sleeping in. And then the two big bunk beds just like in the other room. So Zaya's been sleeping right there. Perfect little setup. She could have definitely had her own room. There's plenty of rooms in here, but you know, she wanted to be close to me. So she's been in this cute little cozy area, sandy toes and salty kisses. And like I said, count the number of freaking, like what? Where did they get all this? Every single wall, every single square foot of this place has beach stuff on it. Literally, where did they get so many things? Even on the floor. It's like they ran out of wall space, so they just started putting it on the floor. Really nice, and this door also leads out to the pool. And then there's like a nice big closet right here, so that's where we've been keeping our suitcase and stuff. So that's been our room. Then it's kind of like the main 
um, door out to the pool. So you've got like a big patio. So that's where our bedroom leads out to this patio space. But the patio goes all across, connecting the other bedrooms. And then you've got our pool, our backyard, a nice sized pool, lots of outdoor furniture for outdoor dining, tanning. That's where I was tanning and where I forgot my camera last night and it got rained on. We grilled dinner the first night. And so the beach is right over there. You can't really see it from this low down, but you can see it from the upper patio. And we have a little outdoor shower section over here. So when you come back from the beach, you can spray off in the outdoor shower. So much freaking furniture. I mean, this house sleeps 16 people. Honestly, more than that if you wanted to, but I think 16 is like the limit that they allow you to have here. But like, there's so much furniture everywhere. More than enough seating for everyone. Because with me furnishing my home right now, I'm just like looking at all this stuff and wondering like how much they spent to furnish and decorate this place. Because this stuff ain't cheap. Y'all know if you go to Home Goods, this mirror could be $100. That one seahorse could be $20. There is an elevator behind this door. But unfortunately, they're not letting us use it. So we haven't gotten to try it out. But just a nice little feature. So that's the lower level. And then you go up the stairs to the, I guess this would technically be more of the main level up here because this is where the kitchen is. So you've got more balconies out the front of the house. So this door goes to another balcony. There's three balconies on the front, three balconies on the back. Or not balconies, but like ba balcony slash patios. And you've got the living room. Say hi, Zaya. She's grumpy right now. <laughs> this is the little living room space where we've all been hanging out. And then the kitchen space. A little bar, dining area. Again, peep all the decor. Three chandeliers. <laughs> nice size little kitchen. And it was all fully stocked with all the, you know, appliances and stuff like that. We brought some of our own stuff, you know. And then there's a big balcony out back here. So we ate dinner outside the first night over here. More seating area. Ashley and the baby have been sitting out here. And it goes all the way over here and this just overlooks the pool. And that's where the elevator would come up if we were allowed to use it. So through here is like a nice size bedroom with like a queen size bed. That's where Ashley and the baby are in there. I think they're taking a nap so I'm not gonna go in there but just imagine a nice beachy themed bedroom and also a really nice bathroom. And then you go up another level to the third story Keep these cool mirrors and chandelier. I love these beaded chandeliers. It's like the one that I put in Zaya's room. Go up to the third level and there's a little mini bar kitchen right here with the wine fridge and a sink and a coffee maker. More beaded chandeliers everywhere. One, two, decor on every little wall. That just blows my mind. Wow, how long did it take them to set this up? So there's a bedroom right here, which is like a little kid's bedroom, which this could have also been for Zaya if she wanted her own room, but you know, so this room has not been touched. It was just extra. Cause unfortunately the rest of the family and friends did not end up coming on the trip. So yeah, but really cute, beachy with the seafoam green color scheme everywhere. And then again, pretty much, I think every bedroom leads out to a balcony or patio. So there's another one. And then this is kind of like the master suite where my parents have been staying. So they got their big, I guess this is a king size bed leading out to the balcony. They got a fireplace in here, TV, lots of decor, of course. And they've got like the master, Ensuite bathroom with the double sink vanity and a nice big glass shower. It's actually a two sided, two person shower. Very nice. Look at all these mirrors and stuff everywhere. Just look at all this stuff. I cannot stress that enough. I don't know why that is just so mind blowing to me that every square inch of this place is decorated. 
on theme. Like what the heck, every square inch. We got Miss Mermaid over here and that's just the closet. And then there's another bedroom over here which is where my brother has been sleeping. I don't know if he's in here, PJ. No, I think he left us and went to the beach. But here's another big bed. This is where my brother's been sleeping. This is the flower room, I guess. Little closet, again, leading out to a balcony. Oh wow, I didn't even see this before, honestly. And then another bathroom for that bedroom. Da -da -da. Again, don't mind our mess. We've been here for a while. There's that. That's where the elevator would come up. That is it, I think. I didn't show you all the balcony spaces. Kind of repetitive, you get the idea. This house is huge. I kept getting lost at first. It's really nice. It would have been really nice to have the whole extended family and friends and everybody here because there's just more than enough space for everybody. We originally had planned for 14 people, like I said, but you know, that's okay. Okay.